Hello again everyone, we're out for another walk. And as this time of the year goes, our first snake is another bamboo pit viper. This one's, we found, set up in ambush. We're literally just a few steps into our walk, so, you know, somehow that goes, uh, we find one and then it takes a while to find the next one. Hopefully that's not the case tonight, but we're gonna keep an eye out. We're in a spot that's pretty good for lots of different stuff, uh, not just snakes. So if we find anything of interest, snakes or otherwise, we'll check back in and give you a look. All right, everyone, we've got our next snake of the night. And this time it's a diamondback water snake. Another snake that we've had on the vlog, not infrequently this year, definitely not one of the most common, but uh, when you're out and around mountain stream type areas, uh, you can find quite a few of these. So again, late in the year, so only just the one. But as with most diamondback water snakes, it's uh, very pretty. You can see here the pattern on the back. This is adult uh, mature coloration. Uh, juveniles are a little bit more brighter and contrasty. Um, but you can see here the ventrals. Um, quite interesting, very high contrast black and white um, checkering there. And yeah, this guy was found sitting on a tree branch and that's right where he's gonna go back when we're done filming but kind of fun I think this will probably be the last snake we find we still have a little ways to walk out so who knows but this one may close us out for the evening and if so we'll pick back up on the next walk otherwise we'll check back in with you guys if we find something Good evening everyone. We are out for another walk and we have come across a very cool find for this time of the year. A sub-adult Chinese Cobra. This one's on the move by a little water runoff here. Um, and maybe just looking for a meal. It's a bit warm tonight um, for this time of year. So we may have gotten lucky and just caught this one out trying to get a meal in before the end of the season. So very cool, uh, not too long, I'd say about maybe 18 inches to two feet. It looks like he's found a hole he's going in there, or maybe not. Um, but yeah, standard Chinese Cobra. This one's a slight bit lighter than I would say the normal ones you find are, that they're normally black. They're quite variable, but this one's a bit more of a, a light brown color, but a very standard looking monocled marking on the hood which we're not gonna force him to show us that but you can kind of see a little bit of it there and it looks like he's found his way into a hole so that'll be it for our cobra encounter tonight but pretty cool find we're gonna keep walking see if we can find anything else of note like I said the weather's pretty good but good start We'll check back in if we find something else. morning everyone just out on a quick little walk not particularly on the lookout for any animals but I managed to come across this tiny black phased burrowing rufous snake and this one was in a little gutter very dry gutter on the side of the road on the side of the path actually so I popped him out and I'm gonna let him go in this leaf litter here but these are uh very cool little snakes, not too common, not too uncommon. And they're quite pretty and have actually really iridescent scales. Let's see if I can find a patch of light. I'm not sure if it's gonna show up in here. It might be too bright actually, but very, very iridescent scales. Has kind of a, a rainbow sheen to it when it's in the sunlight. 
and we've discussed on uh, previous vlogs but these come in two color phases this uh, black color as well as a golden color and there is uh, a few that I found at intermediate phases and I actually don't know a lot about the color morphology of these snakes whether there's two separate lines or whether they turn different colors as they get bigger uh, but yeah cool little snake nice little detour on our walk this morning and pretty fun for the vlog so I obviously don't have my big camera with me so this is a iPhone shot but we're gonna go ahead and let this guy go somewhere a little bit more up the path here so that he doesn't end up back in the gutter and there's sub fossorial snakes so I imagine he's gonna go right for some cover there he goes. Burrowing Rufus snake. Cool find for the morning. Check back in with you guys on the next walk. All right, folks. We are out on our next walk. And right at the start here, we've got a tiny black phase burrowing Rufus snake. And this should be the second consecutive black rufus on this vlog. I actually found another one this morning walking around. Um, but yeah, uh, very similar to the first one. Iridescent scales. Sorry. Iridescent scales. This one's a little bit bigger than the one we found this morning. And it's a, kind of a rainy evening here, so this one's out on the crawl uh, as the rain's picked up here. And I'm just going to go ahead and let it get about its business. Sorry for the focus. But yeah, pretty cool little find. Great to see some stuff out moving here. It's a bit late tonight. Uh, I didn't get out and about until uh, a little bit later, but that's usually pretty good for the snakes. So hopefully that's not the last thing to come tonight. Uh, but happy to find it uh, late in the season. All right, we're gonna get after it. Check back in if we find something else. Hello again, folks. We have our next snake of the day, and this is a really, really cool find. This is a juvenile Chinese slug snake, Piraeus chinensis. And this is one of the lesser found snakes here in Hong Kong due to their highly localized population and somewhat cryptic nature but this one is especially interesting to find because it's so 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 tiny um, see if I can prop my hand up and give you guys a view all right there is our snake and here is my hand just above him so this is a teeny tiny little Chinese slug snake and a really, really cool specimen. Um, as juveniles here, you can see the markings are pretty pronounced. Uh, very clear black stripes all down the body on a orangish, reddish kind of base and really gorgeous red lacquer colored eyes so very very cool species here these similar to the white spotted slug snakes which you've seen quite a lot of are snail specialists so they only eat snails and slugs and their jaws are specifically adapted for the task as well so we're going to film them for a few minutes and maybe get some still photos and then check back in with you All right, we've got our photos and a little bit of B-roll for this guy, and just about to let him go. But you can kind of see here a little bit better how very small this snake is. And he's actually extremely delicate, so I have to be very, very ginger, just enough so that he can grip onto me more so that I can hold onto him. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let him go make sure he's in a position to be in a place where he can get a meal 
and have the best chance at growing up into a full-grown Chinese slug snake. But real treat this time of year to find something this cool and lots of fun to be able to show it on the vlog, especially to be able to give you some sense of scale on just how small this little snake is. Really fantastic. All right, we're gonna keep at it. This may be the last snake we find. Um, and if so, we'll probably check in in the next vlog. Uh, otherwise, we'll pop back on if we come up with anything interesting. All right, just one last quick shot before closing out. And this is a close-up of the head with a macro lens on manual, so not sure how good this is going to be, but thought it might be cool if you guys could see a little bit more detail on this tiny, tiny little snake. So, anyways, this will close us out. Going to get back on the trail, see if we can come up with anything else.